Hi, Warren Walker students. Welcome to our next art lesson. Um, okay, so today we're going to do a really fun project. This is going to be based on um, pop or contemporary artist Jeff Koons. And um, at the beginning of the video, you will see there's a little bit of a clip of what the finished product is going to look like or should look like. And, um, and so while I'm working on this, I'll tell you a little bit um, more about the history of Jeff Koons and why this um, project is really important. Okay, so this project is entitled Balloon Dog. So um, Jeff Koons is really well known for um, his large scale sculptures and they're very, very, very big. And um, so one of his most popular and most famous ones and definitely most fun to look at and a very recognizable is balloon dog so here's how we're going to create this is i have three pieces of paper so um i have a large yellow piece of paper and then i have a smaller green piece of paper which is the exact it's just half of this large yellow piece i also have a piece of blue paper which is the exact same size. It's half of this yellow size. So this is about 12 by 18, and so these are half of that. Um, again, if you don't have these colors lying around your house, anything will do. I didn't think I had green, and I thought I might have to actually color it green, but it's completely up to you. If all you have is white paper and you don't have large size paper, smaller size will work too. You just need a, a smaller size of your initial paper and then half of those sizes horizontally. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create our balloon dog. And we're gonna be um, talking a little bit about form, shape, and um, this is a little bit of a collage too. So I also have here a piece of cardboard. And this is just a kind of a recycled piece of cardboard that I found that um, was on a box that we had. The reason I have this is because we're going to be making um, ovals and we're going to be making seven ovals. And what we need here is a template for our initial oval. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I am going to take um, a, my black oil pastel. I have a black oil pastel, a white one, and then I have two different shades of blue. Now, if you do not, don't have oil pastels, that's fine too. You can always use crayons and um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my black oil pastel and I'm going to draw, I'm gonna kind of measure, we're gonna draw seven ovals, but in order to kind of get the ovals to be the same size, which is what we want, I wanna make sure that I do a template of an oval. So I'm gonna do one on here. And if you have a pencil, you can use a pencil. I'm just gonna use my oil pastel. So I'm gonna draw one oval here and then I'm gonna cut out my oval. Now, this is a little bit of a difficult, piece of cardboard here, so. I'm gonna cut this out here. If you, anything will work. If you just have a piece of paper and you wanna use your paper as a template, you can do that too. I'm just getting a, okay. So now I have my template for my oval. So this way I don't have to measure out each oval. Okay, welcome back. Sorry about the break. I forgot I needed a pencil. A pencil will work a lot easier to um, to trace all these. Okay, so I'm gonna trace this oval seven times. So here we have one, two, three, four, Five, and I'm gonna try to fit this in, squeeze it in. Six, and I have just enough room for seven. Okay, perfect. Now, once we have our ovals drawn on there, then you're gonna take your black oil pastel or a black crayon, whichever one you want, and I'm going to trace over each one of my ovals in black, so I'm getting a nice black outline on there. Six, 
seven. Okay, perfect. Now, here's what I also want you to do. I want you to fit in a small triangle in here and a rectangle in here. Those will come into play later. Okay, fantastic. Now, you're gonna take your white, whether it be a crayon, whether it be paint, or whether it be an oil pastel. And on one side, we're going to do a white highlight. White highlight, and try not to mix that in with a black. So you want the white highlight to be on the same side. Now, because these are going in the opposite direction, some of them are laying on their side and some of them are upright, but you want it to pick a side and have it be on that same side. If it mixes in a little bit with the black, that's fine. So you're getting a white highlight on half of that oval right there. And I think that oil pastels work really well because they are very similar to paint as they just glide really, really well along the paper. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a, um, a blue shadow. So I'm gonna go and I'm using blue because my paper is blue. Now I'm gonna do one color and another color on there. If you just want to use one color, that's fine too. Okay. Blue shadow on there. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. So we have a blue shadow on there. Great, great, great. And here we go. Okay. Good. Okay, now I'm actually gonna do this on my, uh, here as well. A little bit of blue on there and a little bit of blue. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it out. Either one of these scissors is fine. If you wanna use large scissors, small scissors, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna cut these out and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So I've cut out all my ovals and my rectangle and my triangle and I'm laying them over to the side and then I'm gonna to go to my large piece of yellow paper. Now, uh, because Jeff Koons has these sculptures, they're very large size sculptures, um, some of them are in museums, but some are also displayed outdoors. So we're gonna have our balloon dog, instead of just floating around on the page aimlessly, we're gonna have it be in kind of a cityscape. So you can take black crayon, black or pastel, black, even black marker if that's all you have, and we're gonna draw a city. So I'm gonna draw a very simple city and I'm gonna start on the side. It's gonna be a very simple city and it's just gonna be a series of rectangles. So I'm going to add a couple different rectangles. And remember when we're in class, I always talk about how if you break up the page a little bit and have different shapes, your city won't look so Plain. Okay, so we're adding some in here right now. And I'm gonna do one more up here. All right. And I'm going to add a couple, just some windows on here. Very, very simple. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I'm gonna have some windows on here and I'm gonna add some windows. One, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, perfect. And let's do some other windows over here. And like I said before, we're really just trying to fill up this page. Okay, make it just look a little different on here. Now remember, if you're using oil pastel, it will smear. That's why I started from uh, left to right instead of from right to left, depending on if you are right or left-handed. Okay, now I'm finished with my black for right now, and I'm gonna add just a few clouds in my sky up here, just to make it look a little more interesting. Very, very, very simple. 
All right. There we go. Okay. So now I just added a few clouds up here. And before we add our blue dog in here, the reason I have my green is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make it so it looks like maybe there's a little bit of um, grass in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to tear it a little bit to make it look like grass. Very, very, very simple. Hold it on one side, just kind of tear it back and forth. You don't even need to cut it. It looks really cool when you just tear it. All right, I'm gonna tear it like that. And I'm gonna see which side I like better. I kind of like this side better. I'm gonna add, take my black and add a little bit of some curved lines in here to kind of make it just look like grass. And if you're thinking to yourself, huh, this looks like maybe that it's so simple is that's kind of one of the greatest things about Jeff Koons is that his balloon dogs are, um, they're almost childlike and they give you a really great idea of like a very um, fun, whimsical thing. Everybody loves a fun balloon animals. And that was kind of his point when he did these big balloon dogs is to kind of um, juxtapose a little bit of the difference between um, things that are fun to play with in your childhood and also a large art sculpture at the same time. So I'm gonna take my glue stick and you can also use white glue. And I'm going to glue down my green paper. And I'm gonna go right to the bottom and you will end up covering up some of those buildings. That is great. That's kind of what it gives a collage thing. And be careful, I just smeared it all. Um, all right, now we're gonna start to assemble our balloon dog. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add this on here. We want the highlight to be on one side and the shadow to be on the other side. So because we have seven parts to our balloon dog, we're gonna start with the, um, like the nose part. So I'm gonna go right here. And I'm gonna start pretty far over here because we want enough room over here. Okay, so I'm gonna go one. And this little triangle is that really cool part at the end of the balloon to kind of make it look like a balloon. One. All right, I have number two right here. I'm gonna make it go right like this, overlap two. Three, this part's gonna be like the ear kind of coming up here. Three. Four. And we have, I'm gonna do my legs. Five. Six. And number seven. And here we have number seven. I'm going to take my rectangular part and put it right there at the bottom for the tail. All right. Make sure you use enough glue to get it all down. And there we have our balloon dog. Um, I highly recommend that you Google Jeff Koons and take a little bit of a look about all his really cool balloon dogs that come in all different colors. He has a really neat big pink one and I think he has a really neat red one. So um, kind of take a look and you'll get a really good idea of the scale of how large these sculptures are. All right, have fun and see you next time.